is I want you to imagine waking up and all the clocks in your house have stopped. Maybe there's a blackout or something like that. Um, for reasons that you don't know, your phone is dead. Maybe because of the blackout, you put it into charge overnight and it, it didn't charge. So it's, you have no sense of what the current time is. And uh, you, know, you could you know, probably go outside and ask someone, but you have this question in your mind for how to accurately reset your clock. Now, how would you work out without any kind of technology or any other person to be able to help you, how would you be able to work out, for example, what time midday should be? How would you set that? What knowledge or, 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 or observation would you make? Anve, what do you think? Yeah, fantastic. The sun's position is usually how we describe midday, right? Midday, the middle of the day, 12 p.m. Um, I guess we would roughly expect it to be halfway between sunset, uh, sorry, sunrise, and sunset. Would you agree that's kind of what you would expect on any given day, no matter what time in the year? Okay. Now, the problem with this is that this is a trickier question to answer than is first apparent. And the reason why is because we live on one of these. Now, the Earth being round causes huge problems for time. Um, for starters, if you think about where we're sort of in spring right now, so it's kind of like a normal part of the year, but you guys know in winter and summer, time works a little bit differently when you think about the sun coming up and uh, setting as well. For example, sorry, I'm just going to switch over to something. For example, um, if you go to a spot like uh, the Antarctic, if it's summer in the Antarctic, the, uh, the sun never sets. This is a time lapse following the path of the sun over a 24 hour period. And it doesn't go up, it doesn't go down. It just kind of hovers there for months at a time, which is really weird. Has anyone seen this before? By the way, hands up if you've seen this. Okay, a few of you, fantastic. Now, this is a problem. There's actually a much bigger problem. Like this is because the Antarctic and the Arctic are weird, but no matter where you are, even if you're in a pretty normal spot, um, you've got this problem. Let's have a look at this. What do we have a look at? This is, um, this is a world map, okay? Um, you might have worked out that the yellow dots are planes. Now, it's a bit hard to see because the projector is not the greatest, but do you see this line here? It's kind of like a shadow moving across. Well, it's not kind of like a shadow. It is exactly a shadow. What are you having a look at? So I'm going to get this to play again so you can see it. What are we having a look at? This is, this is the sun, this is where daylight is on the earth. And of course, like I showed you before, because we live on a round planet, you can't have sunlight on every part of the planet at the same time. In other words, just returning to that original question, right? This happens at a different time for everybody, right? And that's why the heading I'd like you to make is international time zones international time zones. Okay, now, let's have a look for example. Uh, you guys are going to open up to this shortly, but you don't need to have it right in front of you immediately. Let's have a look at this. Now, this is that same world map that you were having a look at before, but what's superimposed on top of it, um, have a look down the bottom here. I know it's small, but I wanted to see the whole thing. You've got all the different times at different points on the Earth, right? So you've got here in the middle, Greenwich. Does anyone know why we have Greenwich as such an important spot, Jessica? Because, uh, um, like when you go um, latitude, zero, zero, it's like at Greenwich. Okay, so we've got latitude and longitude, which are our two ways of putting coordinates on the Earth. Um, Jessica, you're talking about latitude, which by the way is actually um, these horizontal lines. These are latitudes. The other ones are called the? Yep, the lines of longitude, right? So we have this particular line of longitude, right? Um, it's called the Greenwich Meridian. Why, why is that one special? Yeah. Isn't it also called the Prime Meridian? It's also called the Prime Meridian. It's called like the most important one. Anuj, what are you thinking? Because, is it because uh, is it the zero zero starts at Greenwich? Yeah, so, um, and it is spelled Greenwich, but it is pronounced Greenwich because, you know, 
English language. Um, in Greenwich, there's this place called the Royal Observatory. And um, in the late 19th century, kind of late 1800s, that's when they decided, you know what, we should have times set at different points on the Earth because of this you know, problem with this spherical planet that we live on. Okay? So you've got, you can see here, um, from zero degrees, this is the prime meridian that we were just talking about. If you go east, we measure in degrees, 180 this way. And if you go west, you go 180 that way. And depending on how east and west you are, you get different times. Does anyone know? By the way, we used to call it Greenwich Mean Time, but I think now we call it, um, I'm going to zoom in there, UTC. Uh, it stands for right there. It stands for Coordinated Universal Time. I don't know why the C is on the end, but whatever. Um, does anyone know what our time zone is in Sydney? It's UTC plus... Eastern? Uh, well, we're in Sydney, so that's Eastern time. So uh, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, we're all the same time. It's plus. It's usually plus 10. Um, there is something that changes that, by the way, which is daylight saving, right? So it changes back and forth an hour. Now, yeah, Jessica. But isn't like Brisbane one hour time zone? Ah, we're going to come to that in a second. So daylight saving is a bit of a sneaky thing. In order to have a bit of more of a conversation around this, this is the map you're going to use when you're having to work through this exercise. But I want to show you a better map because it's one which raises a lot more questions. There we go. All right. So have a look at this <laughs> monster. Now, what you can see here, um, which you couldn't see in the previous map because it wasn't detailed enough, is you've got these individual time zones. So roughly speaking, every single one of these is an hour apart, but not all of them. As an example, let me zoom in to Australia. So here's us right here. Um, what do you notice about these time zones? Yeah, they're kind of kind of weird and awkward. Um, I should point out, um, we are basically at 10. This is at nine and a half. Most of, well, all of WA, with one little exception, is at UTC plus eight. So there's about a two hour difference there. Um, there is this little spot here, I'm gonna zoom back into it. What's that? Does anyone know what that is? Has anyone lived in WA in part of their time? Yeah, now this is interesting. When I first saw this, I was like, is this a Harry Potter joke? Like, and I was like, no, that's, that's platform nine and three quarters. Um, what's that about? There's this little tiny West Australian town. It's got like 50 people in it um, called Eucla, like eucalyptus. Um, in Eucla, which is the most, it's the most Eastern part of Western Australia, because it's so close to these guys where it's more like nine and a half, they, they all say, look, that's too, that's too far. So plus eight is too far. So we are plus eight and three quarters. Everyone in the town actually observes that time. Um, this idea of daylight saving is not shown on the map. Why do you think that is? All countries do daylight saving slightly differently. There are actually some countries that don't observe it. Does anyone know, and this has come to your question about Brisbane, Jessica, do you know which parts of Australia observe daylight saving and which don't? Anyone? William, what do you think? Queensland. Okay, so Queensland doesn't observe it. Northern Territory doesn't observe it. WA? doesn't observe it. In, so, in fact, it's sort of this lower right-hand corner, lower right-hand corner, the southeast corner of Australia. So New South Wales, Melbourne, South Australia, and Tasmania. And there's an island somewhere here that I can't remember that also does it. 